All right, I was tagged to do the bookish hot or not tag by Jack at the GKBC. Creature right here is our Jack. And he wants to tag Gray. All right, A, audiobooks. I'm going to say hot. I really push myself to enjoy audiobooks and just find my genre because I drive a lot, I cook, I clean. I have all these things that I could be listening to an audiobook if I could just get into it. So fiction really doesn't work for me in audio, but biographies, memoirs, perfect. Especially because usually biographies and memoirs are read by the person that wrote them. So you have Jane Fonda telling you her life story, Henry Winkler telling you his life story. So it just like adds to it. So hot. B. Bildungsroman. Dealing with a person's formative years or spiritual education. This used to be one of my favorite genres, but it was one of my favorite genres when I was coming of age or just like just over it. Now that I'm older, not so much. I would prefer someone reflecting on their life versus being in the moment of coming of age. C. Children's books, not. Well, I have recently reread American Girls and Dear America books, like on and off. If you like the American Girls books, there was a pod there is a podcast called dolls of our lives it used to be called american girls but but they kind of just read a book each week and then came back and talked about it and it was it was fun it was fun to go back to this book so you know what i was gonna say not but now i'll say hot if we're talking about at least eight and up not like anything below that i'm sorry d digital it pains me but hot i used to be so against the digital book movement because i was just terrified that bookstores were going to close down and like, I mean, Borders gone with the wind. We still have a few Barnes and Noble standing, but digital just makes things so much easier and there's less waste. Like I only have like three bookshelves and they're cramped. I'm getting to that point where it's like, what am I gonna do? And, and like the convenience of like, oh, I just heard about this book. I like it, let me download it. Downloading from the library's eBooks and instead of going there in person. Also, now that I'm like older, reading off an e-tablet is just so much better than reading off an actual book and just like my house is in general pretty dark so i always have to find like the right lighting angle myself so like an e-book just makes it a lot more convenient hot e experimental i'm gonna say not because i feel like if you're calling it experimental you're just after the shock value and it's not a good story you know what i mean f fantasy i'm going to say not I loved fantasy growing up, like the Harry Potter books were just my favorite thing ever. It's funny going back and reading it and like, you know, there are a lot of plot holes. <laughs> but anyways, I loved it growing up. But now like, especially with like book two, book talk, constantly recommending fantasy, I did try to give them a go and I just couldn't get into it. So I'm gonna say not, but who knows? Maybe I'll be in a more whimsical mood next year or two years and I'll get back into it. G, graphic novel. I'm going to say not because I don't, I don't think I've ever read a graphic novel. I know. My friend loved the Sandman and he would send me like screenshots and I was like, you know what? That looks like a good one, but I never read it. So how can I say hot when I haven't read any? H, horror. I'm going to say hot. I'm old school horror. I like there to be a point. Not extreme horror or like, you know, just like gore for the sake of gore. But as long as there's a story attached to it, hot. I, inspirational. I like reading things that I find inspirational, but I feel like if it's marketed as inspirational, it's going to be too cheesy. So I'm going to say not. J, journalism, I'm going to say not because I live in the world, it's fucked up. Like I read to get away from it. So I'm not reading, like I'll skim the New York Times with like one eye open, but not my favorite. L, library, I'm gonna say hot because I do use like Libby in the cloud library a lot. I don't love going into the library just because like, I wish it was organized by genre. I feel like I never find anything I like just walking around because it's just, it's, it's chaos, you know? I I think I need to go into the library. That way I can figure out how I can use the website. Because I haven't, I don't think I have a login to use the website to see what physical books they actually have. So I can like, arrange a pickup. I think that would be a game changer for me. Maybe I'll try to do that this week. M, mystery, hot, and nonfiction. I would say hot. I don't gravitate towards it, but I do enjoy it. O, omnibus. I'm going to say hot. I don't own any, but usually when I see them in stores, they look really pretty. Actually, I think I have like maybe the, the Agatha Christie one, which I need to read. Is that considered an omnibus? It's just, it's just say hot. P, poetry. I think you either have a poetry brain or not, and I don't. I've appreciated it here and there throughout my life, but it's not something I go towards, so not. 
Q quests when the protagonist goes on a quest, physical or spiritual. I'm going to say hot. R romance. I'm going to say not. Usually if a nonfiction book has like a romance storyline, that will be my least favorite storyline in the book. So not. S science fiction hot. I don't think I've read a whole lot, but what I've read, I've enjoyed. T translations, books translated from one language to another, like hot. I don't know why you wouldn't want more books available to you. Gabriel Garcia Marquez, 100 Years of Solitude, one of my favorite books, translated. And I read in Spanish, and I can read Spanish, but English is just easier for me, so hot. You Ubermensch, the Superman or the Extraordinary Human, characters who can do everything. I don't know if about a character that can do everything. I think like, you know, even Marvel characters have their their downfalls. But in general, like I would like to re- I mean, I like reading about witches and like superheroes, people with powers. I mean, that's like what I like about books, getting away from reality. So I'm gonna say hot. The Victorian literature from 1837 to 1901. I loved Victorian books in high school. Like that was the peak time where I was reading a lot of Victorian books. Haven't gone back to it, and I think I would appreciate it more now, so I'm going to say hot. W. Western, haven't read any, so not. X, X X-rated. I'm going to say not. I don't think I've ever read an X-rated book or attempted to that I enjoyed. Usually, like, they're too... Usually, the only one I can think of is Fifty Shades of Grey that I read when, like, everybody was reading it because it was a moment in time. It was funny. And... It was either like funny or cringe. So I'm going to say, you know, why young adult? I'm going to say not because I am no longer a young adult. Like I can't relate to a 16 year old. I don't care. I have liked a handful of young adult books over the past few years. And they're the exception, not the rule. The only one I can think of like off the top of my head is Monday's Not Coming Home. And it was sad, but it was like a good book. Zeitgeist, spirit or mood of the times. I'm going to say hot. I think that's like one of the things I like about historical fiction. You get to like experience a moment that you wouldn't otherwise like, you know, it just brings forth things that you wouldn't consider like like political and social circumstances of the time where something that seems so normal right now wasn't then and why it prevented, you know, it's just, it's just hot. Okay. Anyways, that was this tag. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. I'm editing and I realize I didn't tag anyone. So I tag Crystal at Fiber Artsy and Kelly at Kelly Hooked on Books.